So I finally received my Steel Dive Pilot's watch and I wanted to make a short video telling you about it. The watch, as all Steel Dive watches, comes in this uh, plastic pelican box style type of box. It is not waterproof or anything, but it's padded inside and you have this uh, warranty card which is not filled in and this cardboard hang tag. The watch came wrapped in plastic and inside this thick uh, ziplock bag and you can see that I removed four links from my watch. Now for the watch itself. The watch is a 39 millimeter case the lug width is 20 millimeter and the thickness of it including the sapphire crystal is a bit less than 12 millimeters lug to lug is 48 obviously i went with the sterile version which means that the dial does not have the steel dive logo case back is sterile as well and also the crown does not have any markings on it the watch features a flat sapphire crystal, which is also AR coated on the inside, giving the dial a bit of a blue tint when you look at it uh, in the light. The bezel is integrated into the case, it's not pressed on, so there's no chance of it ever coming off. And the bezel is also very very thin, making the watch feel a bit larger than an actual 39 millimeter watch would feel. The watch also features a screw down crown which gives the watch 200 meters of water resistance according to the listing. The dial on the watch is a type A Flieger dial but uh, although the previous versions of this watch came with the sword hands the newer version, which is what I have, comes with the pencil hands. The movement inside is an NH35 movement, which is uh, automatic and hand winding and also hacking. Which means that if you pull out the crown, the second hand stops. And you can set the time. That's the second position, and the first position allows you to adjust the date. The watch comes with a white date disc, although I think a black one would be much better here and I think even about uh, switching it with the date disc from my Seiko, which uh, features a matching uh, date disc to the NH35. The loom on the watch according to the listing is C3 Super Luminova and I will insert a loom shot for you right now. The loom on the watch is very very bright, as you can see it even illuminates my hand on camera. It, ha it lasts for a long time and it's one of the major good points about the watch. And also the second hand that is not uh, loomed. Last but not least we're gonna talk about the bracelet and clasp combination. If you're familiar with the IWC Mark 18, this is the look that they tried to go for here with the bracelet. But obviously you can't get uh, IWC quality for $100 from AliExpress. The bracelet uh, features solid and links, solid links with uh, push pins. The whole bracelet is brushed but the brushing is not the same direction as the case. The bracelet tapers down from 20 at the lugs to 18 millimeters at the clasp and the uh, biggest problem here is the fitment of the end links. The end links protrude from the lines of the lugs, also the fitment right here, there are gaps and I tried to remove the bracelet, but the uh, spring bars that they used inside seem to be stripped and you can't catch them with a small screwdriver. So I couldn't manage to get them off without breaking them. So 
I leave it on for now, but you can see the gaps. There are gaps all over on the lugs, near the case. It obviously doesn't uh, fit perfectly. And another point is the cheap, cheap clasp. The clasp is stamped all over. The legs of the clasp, the clasp itself, it's the cheapest, most garbage clasp you can ever uh, find on any watch, but that's what you get for a hundred dollars total. It has three adjustment points and it does the job, but it's not, it's, it's far from the, the best option you can get. Here's the watch on my 19 centimeters wrist, which is uh, seven and a half inches, I believe. The watch uh, fits pretty well, it looks nice, and the AR coating gives it a very luxurious, uh, I might say, uh, look. I really like the, the blue tint of the dial. So for $100, I would definitely recommend it. 